Good morning. I'm Pat from Rivers Edge Chev. Um, I'm the founder of Rivers Edge Chev. And this morning, just to kind of change things up a bit, we're going to make some poached eggs. They're actually coddled eggs. They're actually coddled eggs. When they're poached, they're poached in water. But coddling, you put them in a little cup of some sort that's heat proof. And uh, I always coat my little ramkins with butter, but you can also use a cooking spray. And this morning I've got an egg in each one of the ramkins and I'm going to add homemade basil pesto. And this is made with um, macadamia nuts, which makes a really nice pesto instead of using pine nuts. And then I'm going to add some powdered dried tomatoes that we made up this summer. We had a bumper crop of tomatoes, so I thought it might be kind of interesting to dry some instead of just drying them and using them whole. I would powder them up like we do with some of our peppers that we dry too. Anyway, so we're going to have basil, a tomato powder, and an Asiago cheese in this. This is the tomato powder here. It has a tendency to clump up a little bit when it sits for a while, but all you have to do is stir it up a little bit and it comes right back together again. And I'm putting about a half a teaspoon in each one of the little cups. God knows it probably equates out to be about 10 tomatoes, who knows. Anyway, that looks pretty good. Now for the Asiago cheese, it's already shredded. Put a nice big pinch in there. With the, uh, the coddled eggs, you can put chopped ham, uh, fresh herbs that are chopped up, just about anything. And for a soft egg, you want to cook them for about five minutes. And for a harder egg, you know, just add some more time to it. Okay. <clears throat> I got these little coddling cups on Amazon, and I think that they're made from borosilic glass, which is supposed to be like chem grade glass, so it's heat proof and all those things. Originally they came with a little stainless steel bale that went over the top, but they didn't really work that way. But it hasn't really been a problem because you can just use some um, silicone coated tongs or else a jar lifter to get them out of the boiling water. So I'm going to put these in the boiling water now and uh, get them started. You just want to be careful when you're dealing with boiling water because the steam can be really hot. So we're going to set the timer for five minutes on that. And let that get started. So these have been in the, the simmering water for approximately five minutes. And they're still really, really hot. Let me get that out of there. And this is what it looks like. In the little rampkin. I'm going to tip these out into the bowl. The yolk is nice and soft. The cheese is melted. And it smells really nice. This is a nice recipe to use when you have company too. 
Um, you can also bake these in the oven and uh, they turn out really nice that way too. And you bake them in an oven at three, about 325 to 350 um, and approximately 10 minutes in the oven and you want to do a bain marie in the oven where you put them in a, a, oh, a sided like a 13 by 9 inch pan that has sides to it and then you put some water that comes up halfway up the ramkins and um, then you can bake them for about 10 minutes or so until they're just about right and depending on how you like your eggs you know you can cook them less or cook them more so that they're the right doneness for you. And there you have it, just like that. They're quite delicious. With some nice sourdough toast, can't go wrong. There you go, breakfast. And all together, it only takes about 10 minutes to do. Anyway, well, thanks for watching this morning, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.